So FCS in Kilote, you just told us in the training that is ongoing uh, regarding these issues of road dynamics. And you told us in a good way that people are with different personalities. And some like details, others don't like, others have various preferences. Now as a sector into the boards, how do I deal and it's the same board but made up of people with different personalities? How do I deal with that? So obviously at the secretariat it is critical that we are focused on the aligned goal of bringing out the best outcomes from both these uh, discussions, um, ensuring that there is a good level of detail, but at the same time it elicits a robust discussion. So there are a few things that the Secretariat can do see you. The first is actually to understand the board members, their personalities, their work style preferences, the predominant ones, and even the ones that we need more on in the board. And that can only be facilitated through a self-awareness session, which the Secretariat can facilitate for the board members and the Secretariat to start understanding how they work best. The second thing is actually to have sound board processes. So, to you, uh, when people do not know what to expect and, and um, continue experiencing delays, um, insufficient information for decision making, um, a discussion of you know, mundane or management issues rather than really focusing on governance issues, then uh, you will find that there could be those clashes on the board. So the Secretariat, it is critical that they focus the leadership team, the management, to setting agenda items that actually focus the board on governance issues and uh, follow the appropriate processes to bring the information in good time so that board members can be um, uh, so that board members can be well prepared for the meeting. But third, you see, it is uh, to understand the roles and responsibilities of each and every part of the governance system. The Secretariat has its own how to bring everything together. The CEO or the MD or the head of the commission has their role. The board has its role. The chair of the board has its role. And it is the responsibility of the Secretariat to ensure that each and every person uh, understands their role and is well equipped to play that role. And I think in that way, it is possible that the Secretariat can be a good advisor, a good governance champion for the board. I'm not talking about information. There is this theory called the agency theory. And you find one of the challenges in governance is where the agents sometimes have more information than the principal. And information is power. Mm -hmm. So how should secretaries facilitate the board in getting information that would help the board make the right decision? What is the role of secretariat in that? So the secretariat has a very strong coordination board. Uh, when it comes to board processes. And what does this mean? It means that the Secretariat is responsible for interacting both with the chair of the board and the leadership team to set agenda items and to ensure that each agenda item has the relevant information that is required for the board members to make a, a decision or to attend to that issue in the way in which the leadership requires. And the first thing that the board secretariat can do CEO is one, to aim at ensuring that you close the gap of information asymmetry. Because the secretary sits in all the meetings for the board and should sit in all the management, relevant management meetings, and is able to see where there is a gap between what is known and what is unknown, the Johari, you know, and is supposed to support the board as a, as an official of the board to actually close that information asymmetry gap. The second thing the secretariat needs to focus themselves on is actually reviewing the papers that have been uh, prepared by management 
have gone through quality control by the CEO, but also the secretary has to start becoming conversant and comfortable with the subject matter that comes to the board so that they can ensure there is coherence and consistency in the information that is coming to the board. Mm. CEO, we have seen many instances where this board paper, a board board said this, the next board paper says something completely different and no one keeps it mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is the role of the secretary mm -hmm. also to ensure that coherence and that consistency. Mm -hmm. And finally, mm -hmm. the secretary also has to play their advisory role mm -hmm. to the board. Mm -hmm. And this role is not just about being a glorified minute taker. At some point it used to be said that the secretaries were glorified uh, minute takers, but uh, a corporate secretary or a board secretary mm -hmm. is actually a governance advisor to the board mm -hmm. and should be able to confidently mm -hmm. advocate mm -hmm. positions, mm -hmm. confidently correct where there are assumptions mm -hmm. that may not lead to the right outcomes in the board decision making process. Mm -hmm. So I think. Mm -hmm. So if we start with those ones yes. as secretaries, mm -hmm. we are also headed in the right direction. And finally, uh, yes. CS and Kirote, you have been a corporation secretary for a regulator, uh, for a multinational yeah. organization. You have been uh, board member in various institutions, including the institute where you have been a council member and even a vice chair. Uh, you are an advocate, you are a hater, You've done so many things, so you are aware of, uh, of experience and knowledge. Now, these issues of dynamics, uh, there are times that sometimes, as the secretary, you know, Robert Green says that you should never train the master. <laughs> so, how do you manage that so that sometimes you are not seen as if you are training the master, whether it's your CEO, whether it's your chair, whether it's your board member, how do you deal with those board dynamics as a corporation sector, uh, remembering your role and all that? Thank you, CEO. That is um, an interesting question because um, the key thing is this. It starts from self-governance. That's what I would say, and that is what we have discussed this morning. Mm. It is important to understand yourself as a person. What is your purpose? What have you been put on earth to do? How will you do it? What qualities, what skills, what traits do you have that will support you to live out your purpose? Mm. And once that is very clear for yourself, then you are able to govern yourself before you can govern others. And that means that, see, you, I focus on my purpose. I focus on my passion. It is not about people, it is about issues and how we can best go about them. But also, see, part of good dynamics is actually respect. Respect for others and respect for the roles that they play. Mm. There is no way I would plan to outshine this person or that person. Mm. I am in that institution to play a specific role. Mm. I understand my purpose and my passion very clearly. Mm. And I also have the best interests mm. of the organization at heart. Mm. Just like the director, just like the CEO, just like everyone else. And what I want to see is not individual stars, mm. what I want to see is that we win together because we are one team. And so that means when I need to be diplomatic in the way I pass on a message, I will do exactly that. When I need to be assertive in the way I pass on a, a, a message, I will do that. But it is all in the pursuit of my purpose and in the best interest of So that is what I have focused on and I believe it has worked. And I encourage every other secretary, every other person who's serving a role on the earth to understand it. Thank you. Those are some of the discussions we are having here at the Board Secretariat Workshop, uh, where we are focusing on capacity building, secretariat serving boards. If you are struggling on such areas as we have discussed, the institute can customize a training course for your institution and we are there to support you. Thank you very much.